Again, I'm Reverend Braylon Scott Hagler. I'm the senior pastor of Plymouth Congregational United Church of Christ of Washington, D.C. And I'm also the national president of Ministers for Racial, Social, and Economic Justice of the United Church of Christ. And so we stand here uh, and come <coughs> here to, again, lend our moral support to Dr. Onisha uh, and to express very clearly uh, uh, that the Muslim bashing and the race bashing and the immigrant bashing need to come to an end in Virginia as well as in this country. Uh, because we all generally have come from some place and come here to build up the country and to build up the economy and to build up the political integrity of the nation. And when we end up engaging in this kind of politics, we end up taking away uh, from the strength of the nation. And so it's very important that we stand together and in support. I want to say this, the organization that Dr. Obish heads, the Muslim American Society, uh, and many people have said things about it. But I want to tell you some other stories about the Muslim American Society, such as when we gathered together uh, on Thanksgiving, uh, for over a week and we fed meals at a woman's homeless shelter in the First Congregational Church in downtown Washington, D.C. And Muslims came from all over the metropolitan area uh, to work in the kitchen and to serve food and to support that program. And it was a Christian Muslim endeavor. And, uh, and we found and demonstrated that we had the strength to work together. Another story that many of you do not know about the Muslim American Society. When we opened up the battle in Washington, D.C. over payday lenders, who were charging people over 550% in interest, it was the Muslim American Society and the Muslim community that joined with us on picket lines. And uh, as you know, we won that battle in a 12 to 1 vote in D.C. City Council. Uh, but it could not and would not have happened if it wasn't for the street support of the Muslim uh, American uh, society. Uh, and we're going to open that battle in Virginia. Uh, and uh, because it is something that is very important because it continues to sap the strength, the financial strength out of the community. I'm saying all this to demonstrate and to show to you that there is a, a civic engagement in the communities uh, in uh, the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area on behalf of the Muslim community with the Christian community. People talked about things that they, comments that had concerns. Well, you know, one of the things that's interesting is if you look back at the history, Anytime black folks spoke in behalf of their community, they ran the risk of being labeled. And they're still being labeled. Labeled uh, in, in all kinds of irrational ways, as being sort of hate mongers or whatever. But when the fact is, is that people are, yes, concerned about the well-being and the justice that is afforded their own constituency groups, their own ethnic groups, their own racial groups. There's nothing out of the ordinary because we need to take a look as a nation and as a culture at what we do to other people and we need to be attentive to making sure that justice is there and that people feel empowered and people feel dignified and respected in the process. I want to make it clear that the Christian community stands alongside of the Muslim community and stands with Dr. Onish. And uh, we are asking our congregations in Virginia uh, to send letters to the governor, to let the governor know simply that we are very concerned about the Muslim bashing, we're very concerned about the immigrant bashing, we're very concerned about the racial bashing that continues to go on and somewhere as, as a nation and as a state and as people uh, who are concerned about people living in peace and uh, uh, with each other. We need to bring that to an end. Uh, I'm joined today and I want to recognize uh, a couple of other Christian ministers who are standing here. Uh, there's the Reverend uh, uh, Chuck Wildman of Rock Springs United Church of Christ. Would you come forward, Chuck? 
And, uh, and there's also uh, Reverend uh, Jim Fultz from the uh, conference staff of the United Church of Christ. And we are very thankful that they have stood here and are standing here uh, in support of this issue. Uh, we recognize that the governor uh, uh, basically uh, surrendered to politics. Uh, and, uh, and one of the things that I think is very clear is that uh, this community stands still in support of this governor uh, and will work with this governor. And I think that you heard the graciousness on the part of Dr. Omish when he was concerned about the commission being able to do its work with integrity. And we will continue to work along with the governor, but we will also uh, ask that the governor be attuned and attentive uh, to the needs of all communities and that those voices are heard loud and clear. Thank you very much, Andy. I would simply second what uh, Reverend Hagler has uh, just uh, indicated. I also want to say that I think uh, we are here in support of the governor doing his best and being his best in this matter. He cannot do it alone, and it's, it's evident that there are other forces at work that have made it difficult for him to uh, perhaps act in another fashion. So we will lift him up. He is a good man. Some of us know him personally. And we, we look forward to working with him for a uh, better result uh, uh, in the future. So, Could you put your name in? Uh, Reverend Ch Charles Wildman, pastor of Rock Spring, Congregational United Church of Christ in Arlington. So we appreciate you all being here today, and we'll be looking forward to more opportunities to, uh, to, uh, to build community and not tear it down. Uh, Gerald, J-E-R-R-O-L-D, Fultz, I'm Associate Conference Minister with the Central Atlantic Conference, United Church of Christ. And uh, our, our, one of our values is, uh, is the interfaith uh, values of our country and our world. Uh, free speech is a part of that. Uh, and we really just want to honor the building of community and uh, not, uh, not reacting just to a few words out of context uh, that we hope for, the, for better for the future. We want to stand with our partners of all the faiths in our country. Thank you.